So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I'm going to talk to you in between the gu gusts of wind. I am going to do something a little different than I have done before. I'm going to try and remember to start my timer. I'm going to be using my OXO omelet turning spatula to spread a little bit of paint. These are available underneath Show More, under the video. If you click the next link that says Link Tree, it will have all of my links on it. I'm going to use a little shovel. I've got a pan for colors. This is my swipe card, but everything is blowing around here right now, so I'm hoping that that doesn't blow away. So what I want to do is I want to make something of a, of a red and pink swipe. And I'm going to use the color I have the most of. Ha! Which one is it? I don't know. In any case, I'm just going to put them all in here and figure I can use whatever's left later. I'm going to put a little bit of dark purple and some blue in there. But the whole point of this is to experiment and see if I can get to, to shovel up and apply, shovel apply the swipe colors before I swipe them. And I'm waiting for the red so I have a deeper base. Whoops. <laughs> And this is probably twice the size I need, I'm wondering. And I think I'm going to give myself the gift of a little bit of orange. Because that will zhuzh up that red quite nicely. Not to mention, yeah, I think that worked. I'm happy with that. So now, I'm going to give myself a dose of my favorite purple flash from Folk Art. I'm only going to use a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I want some dark stuff in there. But not a lot. This is my Venetian Master Modern Masters. And after I'm done swiping I can always add some other colors back in. Now I kind of thought I might want some gold. I think I'm going to stick with my red theme though. We shall see how this works. I think that was shaken, but I can't actually tell that easily. So I'm going to move these out of my way. I'm going to grab the pink. I thought I had the pink enamel. Just as an experiment, I'm going to be using the gold and the black. I'm going to use the black enamel as a swipe color and the gold next to it to get some gold cells. And I'm going to already prime the edges of my canvas so I don't have to think too much about that. Here's my shovel. There's my there's my pink. So let me give myself it's unusual. I don't I've never put a layer of enamel on a canvas to swipe over. But I want to make sure that the colors are deep enough, and since I don't have a huge deep pan of colors, I think this might be an important step. But I don't know. We won't know until we actually do it. As such, I probably don't need to worry about being too careful about what this... This is just basically a background, and it may be something that shows through, which is okay. It also may be what I expect it to be, which is a catalyst for popping cells, but we won't know that until we play. I know the black will. I want a little bit more right there. My swipe card is just a sheet of acetate cut from what I call edge catchers, and they are the 16 by 20 inch plastic protective layer that comes in a value pack of Artist Loft canvases from uh, Michaels. So I've got my layer. I'm going to do my shovels. Do I want something brighter in there? I do. I want something brighter in there. And I'm going to put it in there right now. i got two things. I've got a Velveeta colored yellow and some 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange in it. And then I'm going to go back again and put some more pink back in there because I don't see enough. And I like the pink. And I'm going to top it up with 
more of that neon because I can. So this is what I've got to start with. And I figure to go across and I'm just going to repeat that. I could probably put another color in between which is holding some appeal for me right now. I'm going every other I'm, I'm leaving a gap in between because there's usually enough paint in a layer that you're going to swipe so that it, whichever the card is, whatever the swipe cloth is, whatever you're using to swipe with, usually pull some of that down over the end. That was a little mistake. So, wow, I used all that paint. wait for it to be used on something else. I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. I think the trick to, to not getting mud is to not over manipulate and since I just picked it out, hopefully knock on wood somebody. I think I'm going to do something really weird. I'm going to grab some white pearl. Yeah, that was a little weirder than I had in mind. Come here, thing. I see you, thing. All right, that shouldn't make any difference. So, I've got an I've got a edge catcher just in case I have some paint that I want to let go off the end. I'm going to put my gold down. I got more than enough paint. I am pretty sure. I don't want to let all that run because I can and I think it'll make it a little more organic. What I was thinking I was going to do was putting something on this end. So why don't I just grab all of the colors out of my container. That way I can come back again if I want to. a few other things in there that I want to see just in case. All right, so I'm going to start. I didn't think I wanted to, to use individual swipe cards, but I really, really have changed my mind completely, and I do. I want to use individual swipe cards. So I'm going to grab whatever I can find in my little bucket, which is not as convenient as, oh no, okay, well, we knew that might happen. Pretty patterns. All right, let's just continue from there, because <laughs> we don't really have a choice. Let's go down one at a time. I'm going to scrape off my, my swipe card into a little container. I'm also going to go back and forth. Because I can. I might have to move a couple of things out of the way. I'm not sure that this edge catcher is helping me in any way, shape, or form right now. Make sure I got a good shot at getting the colors I want. So far, they're not covering the end. It occurs to me I could have scraped my, my scribblings off into uh, the shovel. I keep leaving stuff in my way. I'm going to put my paint container right into the bucket. And I'm going to knock whatever paint colors I have off right on the top and or the bottom and or the sides. I don't want to put I 
want to play. Put some more enamel in other locations. Run my finger up the side to leave some paint over. Once I get a large amount of copious paint down at the bottom, I'll rub it in. That wind is pretty stiff. I'm getting some interesting things happening here, and I might be tempted to put a skewer in place or something. Yes, more things are blowing toward my artwork. <laughs> Trying not to freak out. Starting a little lower. Changing up my patterns a little. Going in odd directions. Just generally breaking all the rules. And I'm liking what's going on at the top up here. I might actually take a straw to that. That was a wide sideways swipe. But I like the little things peeking through. You know what? I can go to the bottom. Let's just use a little enamel there. back and forth. Yeah, it's all different. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to do it again? No? No, I'm not. I think it on my feet. If I move that over to the edge, then I can tap off all my colors. I just really wanted something with the reds and the pinks and I don't see any blue other than that little bit that's peeking through so what am I going to do with this? Let's play with the straw. Let's take some of that color and a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula and put it back on and take that piece of paint off. Let's. Let's see if I can do anything with my paint that I've got left over, just to make things a more, little more interesting. I only got a couple places that the, uh, see the thing, they're, they're more often than not bugs lately. I just save the rest of it for my edge. I haven't torched, and if I'm not quick, I won't get to before the opportunity to produce cells with the heat from the torch will go away. I'm just dabbing my finger down the edge of that black. Just a little... I'm afraid the wind is going to pick my canvas up right out of my har arms. And flip it, and I don't want to see that happen. So I'm going to be a little cautious and worry about other stuff later. I still want to use the straw. I think the whole thing is the paint is not as heavy as it can be. So picking out those new places that I just put some more paint down on won't hurt me. Also, if you want a certain color, you ought to just give it to yourself. Because I know that'll be heavy enough. And I don't even think it has to be
the full length. It just has to be cool. And the colors are getting better for me. It was a little muddier than I wanted it to be. I might put some of that Venetian blue in here. I try never to settle. I mean, it happens sometimes, and then it becomes a stage. What else do I want? I kind of feel like I might, I might be happy if I got a little orange added in here. is dangerous. I think I'm going to give myself permission to fix that with a little bit of the 24 karat gold. I think that orange was very dangerous. So much so that I'm going to fix it with something else. that works out. So I'm basically using what I started with as a background. And adding a few things in here and there, which I'm going to continue with until I get some kind of feeling of balance. Even if I have to use my fingers, that orange is going to be a finger swipe. So it's really hot out here today, and that's why I'm having some issues with paint drying. But I still generally overall like my composition. As I am composing as I go along, even that one last orange piece isn't bad. And I should torch before you guys are gone. I do sell my artwork, and my email address is right under the link that you open up. You open up Show More underneath the video. I see that blob. Of the purple. I'm going to have to clean off my tools. Fix that one little spot. So, I was saying, under Show More under the video, you will find my paint pouring recipe and a link for Linktree, which has all my other links, including the Amazon link on it. I said I was going to put some blue in there, and I think I want to try. But I better be really careful. I guess not. I wasn't as careful as I wanted to be because I splooged. Yeah, I'm going to have a little more of that blue and then we're going to call it good. She, said that, she says that all the time and she doesn't mean it. It was worth the risk to me to get that in there. So I'm sure there's stuff I should tell you, like please give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you for all the wonderful comments and thank you for the donations that have kept me painting all this time. If you'd like to be in included in the monthly drawing for, for an artwork, you can find out what those, what those artworks are that are available for the monthly drawing. On the end screens, there's an exhibition video and that's where you want to go. I think they're in the beginning and in the middle and I shouldn't have done that, but I'm 
got away with it and I've got some blue in there and I don't mind it. I'm pretty happy with this in spite of the fact that it's not exactly what I had in mind, which is pretty par for the course. I might have to try another one. So check everything out. Pixels.com and Fine Art America are the same shop now button as you can find on Expressionist Art